The first city would be a testing ground for the implementation and further development of these social aims. The first city would be a huge research center, making automated systems for the next city, making the first city better as well. It would be a place where we would disseminate information. We'd have movie studios, we'd be making gaming, computer animation, a lot of different media to get to the public. It would be like a university city. We would have instructions as to what sustainability really means for the future. The cities of the future are circular, not because I like circles. It's because you only have to design one segment of the system and then reproduce it in pie-shaped sectors, and that would be the most economical way. When you build suburbia, it's spread out, and you have to travel one way to the dentist, the other way for shopping, another way to the doctor. The system is self-contained. There are wind generators. All the rooftops are solar generated. All of the garbage and waste is recycled under the ground, underneath these roadways. All of the roadways contain piping running up and back. And we use all that hot water to operate the air conditioning and the needs of the city. Now these are where the residential district is. If you work in the medical center, you can live here if you choose to. So this is essentially a collection of variations in houses. Your house will vary to suit your needs. Fresco's designs are a showcase for the harmonious coexistence of nature and technology. Now, some people don't like living in individual houses. They prefer living in apartments. This is a gymnasium, drama group, discussion group, recreation of all kinds. So the skyscraper in the future will offer more of the amenities. So this is your recreational belt. There'd be art centers, music centers, recreational areas. These are bicycle paths. There are tennis courts, and these are golf courses. But the golf courses contain a clubhouse with all the golf clubs. So you don't have to bring anything out to the golf course. You stay there, play golf. When you're through, you leave your clubs there. These are access buildings where anyone can access books, a violin, musical instrument. Anything that they want is free and available. These are your research centers. Everything studied in these areas is to improve your standard of living and everybody else there. There would be no lawyers, no bankers, no ad agencies, no insurance people, no sales people. Without money, you don't need any of those things. So you could go right into solving the problems that all of us have. That's what we'd be working on. Today, we're fighting over people who have different values and we're fighting over scarce resources. In the future, you won't have to do that. You'd be working cooperatively to improve the standard of living for everyone. A lot of people think that I want to give people things for nothing and that's going to spoil people. The fact that you're born in America, you have nothing to do with the airplane, the telephone, the railways, it's all here and you're lucky because you inherited that, just being born here, that doesn't spoil you. So there's really no basis for crime since anyone can access anything they need. No one's going to hit you on your head and take your wallet because there's no money in it anymore. The monetary system has been surpassed. <laughs>